The main factors that draw me into an image really start out with an emotional aspect. You know, there's three things that really make an image appealing. That's light, composition, and exposure. If I can get two out of those three things to start working for me, then I get really excited. Everything about photography is all about light. So the light to me is the most exciting part of the image itself. What inspires me the most actually varies, because I'll see a beautiful portrait and I get so inspired. Then I'll see a beautiful landscape or an underwater image or a street shot. And it all is inspiring to me. How do you capture that emotional part that we actually see and feel it? It's not easy to get that, but if we start to anticipate that emotion, then it becomes easier to get. Enzo Adams once said that the negative is the score and the print is the final performance. In today's workflow, when you consider the score, it's really a combination of the raw image from the camera and the process we put it through through the computer. And then the final performance is the print. And that's where we really shine. So everything we do in the process, we want to make sure we process for the final output. I love looking at images on the iPad and on the computer. I would call looking at images on the iPad more proofing than the final score because it is small, but it's fun and it's interesting and it's today. And before that, we were looking at the images on the, on the, the smartphones too, and that's fun too. But when it comes down to the, the bottom line, the photographic print is the single most important part of what you can process. I absolutely think that size has a great deal of impact to a particular type of image. For instance, this image on the screen here. This is designed for a large print, and it's much more powerful for a large print. There's some images that just look better when they're blown up to a large size. If you think about the digital media today, having your images on the iPad or digitally projected, you know, that's one thing, but that's not fine art in the respect of something that I can behold or that an art collector can behold. You know, all papers don't reproduce the same way. As a matter of fact, some papers are quite limited in their D-Max, their color range, their sharpness. So it's important to me to get those things on paper. If I come across a paper that I'm using that doesn't yield the quality that I demand for my work, then it's out of here. I'm very particular about the paper I use in my workflow. Give me a paper that works for me, that I don't have to think about. I want to create my art and print and go. And to get uh, images from the printer time after time after time on the first shot is a joy in the workflow today. When I first started using Ilford, uh, of course I have the best profiling equipment known to mankind. The technology today in inkjet longevity has been unbelievable. But the past 10 years have come quite a long way. And the Wilhelm research has determined that the Ilford paper has a 200 plus year lifespan. And that gives me a lot of confidence when I'm creating my prints. In testing a series of papers and the Ilford papers, which by the way, all of them are fantastic. You know, the pearl is just a part of me too. But when I printed on the gold paper, when that print first came off, there was something about it that was shining absolute perfection to me. And I've printed all my images on that paper since. And it's just a magnificent paper. It has all the characteristics that I demand from a paper. What's precious to me in lighting is the specular highlight, diffused highlight, diffuse shadow, and shadow region. And as I look at the quality of this print, the lighting is just superb. The specular highlights are in perfect condition. What's really impressive here is we go deep, deep, deep into this black shadow region. And you come out into the diffuse shadow region, there's an incredibly smooth transition. There's no banding, there's no stopping. It's a very smooth transition. This is the type of quality that I want 
and my prints, and this is the type of image that I'll sign my name to.